back to another video, video number three, and yeah, I've done an FTP test. I hate them, and I hate them even more in 30 degree heat on the road. So it's been about three weeks since I had my first group ride in Bali, uh, so I've done a fair bit of riding, and I decided to just see where my fitness was so I can start some kind of training plan. And yeah, the only way to do that is by doing an evil, evil FTP test. So functional threshold power. I did a 20 minute standard test outdoors. I used the, um, the 20 minute test on the Wahoo. It's already programmed on there. So it's like a 40 minute warm up, 20 minute test and a cool down. And yeah, I hated it. So I did that. Uh, a few days ago now and I guess the results were as expected I mean having been off the bike so long um, it wasn't great but it's somewhere and uh, it gives me a base now to go and set my training plan and kind of work from there so really struggled in terms of the actual tests I've never done I've only done like two three three FTP tests and they've all been on a trainer uh, indoors and I found being outdoors really hard like trying to maintain power um, just with the the, the the varying gradients and everything I found it really difficult but anyway um, let's jump into the video I'm not going to show the whole thing because that would be extremely dull but I have managed after hours and hours and hours I've managed to put some data overlay on there so you can see my power, my cadence, um, a little bit of the route. But anyway, let's jump into that and then um, I will reveal all. All right, let's go. Okay, so there you are. So FTP done. And for those that are interested, the average 20 minute power um, was 293, I think. 293, so based on the 95%, that puts my FTP around 277, 278. Let's call it 280, um, we'll round it up. So yeah, not great for me personally. Um, but kind of as expected after eight months off the bike can't really expect much more so for reference um, my last test I did in April beginning of April last year just before the Mjolk 312 my FTP was 325 so based on that I'm quite a quite a way off but hopefully with some kind of more structured training I can slowly get back up to up to that number 
and then see where we can go from there. So we're going to start training now and I think the training plan is going to be based around um, a lot of base fitness I think. One thing I've kind of neglected since started cycling is base. Um, I've kind of just jumped straight into cycling and gone out on rides and tried to match whoever I'm cycling with and have smash fests on Saturdays or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to concentrate on mainly base and uh, mix it up with obviously some intervals and then carry on with a Saturday ride with uh, the rest of the guys in Bali and see how we go. See how we go. So plan is to obviously try and get back to 325 and see where we can go from there. See if I can push, keep pushing it up. But I'm lucky that I've got some power meter pedals. Uh, I had a friend who came out to visit us in Bali and brought my pedals, uh, my shoes, my Wahoo heart rate monitor. So I've got everything I need to train, which is cool. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But for now, training begins and I'm going to hopefully show you what Bali has to offer because the scenery is just to die for out here and the roads are pretty good too I mean there's some crazy traffic in the built up areas but as soon as you get out it is amazing so looking forward to getting the drone out I bought myself a drone and going to figure out how to fly that properly and get you some footage and show you what Bali is really like if anyone's ever coming out here hit me up we can go cycling in Bali but for now that's the end of the video hope you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up stick some comments and subscribe